Hey you guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Go adjust myself here. I have a video to share with you with uh, regards to a Canadian wax vendor. This was a pre-order from Mandala Melts. Um, and I'm not familiar because I'm old and I don't have kids of my own, but it's a Pokemon uh, was a theme here and uh, so on and so forth. So we'll get into it. I bought a couple of clams and four sets, like set, like not sample sets, but uh, like collections, I guess. Anyway, moving on. Before I go too much further, what's on my nails barely anymore is OPI's uh, Lisbon Wants Moor by OPI. So anyway, so some people like to know. Now the packaging from Mandala Melts is right down to, this is the this is the piece of paper that was at the top of my box, um, packed, was, was packed really, really well. <laughs> Excuse me. And even right down to the sticker on the top says Mandala Melts, thank you for your purchase. And of course, that's the Pokemon little guys and gals. And I, again, I'm not very familiar with Pokemon because I just, I just don't know Pokemon. But I'm gonna show you my samples. I have no scent descriptions right now because um, normally I just got this in. I literally just opened the box, sniffed everything but the bags. I haven't even opened the bags yet, but I did sniff the samples and the two clams. So the, I got three samples. The first sample is Unicorn, and it's in uh, one of her little like daisy shapes, I wanna say. Just enough for one good milk. And I don't know the scent description, but it's definitely summery. It's like taffy or something like that. It's very, it's very summery, very creamy, that kind of thing, but definitely um, like a sugary treat. And then the next two samplers came in these one ounce scent shots, which I imagine most of these ones coming up in the bags will be, again, I haven't opened them yet. Um, this is just perfect for dropping in one warmer one time. So the sample is in Rainbow Dragon, and I love how she puts the pour date on it, but I, like I say, I'll go onto her website and look up what Rainbow Dragon smells like, and I'll, I'll write it out with my own pen. This has like a fizz to it, fizzy note see here it got mostly just like fizz like lime fizzy like a citrus fizz but I really I like fizzy pop so you guys know that so again this is my sample in uh, rainbow dragon gonna get that lid back on there we go and then the, this one is ice dragon also a sample and this one is harder to smell I this was this was supposedly delivered at like 11 o'clock in the morning and it's 5.30 at night and it's been freaking hot out so the wax is really warm. This one's a little light. I don't smell the fizz on this one but I am looking forward to looking it up to see what it is, giving a little bit of cure time before I go. And if you guys are familiar, I am doing a melt basket right now of Mandala Melts, Tallulah and Poe and Rainbow Melts. So I will definitely put these, uh, you know, I'm select some of them that I think are ready to go um to to melt as well and then i picked up two clams these uh ones forgive me for pronouncing things wrong again i'm not into pokemon this is coughing blackberry strawberry apricot lemon curd and marshmallow and this is super warm so it was very easy to pop out let's see here i think i don't know for sure, but the sparkles go right to the bottom and I almost wonder if the sprinkle sparkles get put at the very beginning before it's kind of started to solidify. I don't know how vendors like Vintage Chic Scent do it where it, the sprinkles stay on the top and don't go to the bottom. Um, I don't really care regardless, but I, I don't know if she wants to sprinkle at the bottom or if she wanted it to be shown on top, I'm not sure. Mm, I like this one. I definitely get the blackberry. I get the lemon curd and the marshmallow. Um, I don't know about the apricot or the strawberry, but that might come out when I melt it. The next one is Pidge, Pidgey, Pidgey, Satsuma oranges and fresh laundry. Um, and what's funny is like when I sniffed this earlier, like 10 minutes ago, like I said, everything's really warm. The top smells like orange laundry. So it kind of, not exact, but it kind of reminds me of Jasper from super tarts it's not this exact same now the satsuma is it satsuma yeah satsuma oranges is more a little more bitter um but when i smell the bottom where it's quite warm i get more of the orange um 
where I think Super Tart describes their, there's his white clouds and Satsuma for Jasper, which is the name of that one. I really love these kinds of blends. This is, I love orange in my bathroom. It's weird. I don't like a lot of food scents, but orange and laundry, I just think really go really well. So anyway, I got those. So that's my samples and the two um, clams I purchased. Then I purchased the grass, grass type sampler. So I have not opened this yet. So it has, let's put the packaging down here. We have three little items. Again, one ounce scent shots. Oda, or Oddish, Oddish. And sprinkles go to the bottom again. I think that, I really think it's maybe because it's, sprinkles are put in before it's kind of started to harden. <clears throat> but I mean, I don't care. Sprinkles are sprinkles. Oh, damn. Ah, messy. Oh my gosh. I get less of the grass type and more like a laundry, like a lovely laundry scent. Um, again, I can't wait to print off the lay or print, make the labels for this. But again, this is Oddish. So that was really nice. So let's see here. Grass sampler. That one's not too heavy at all on the actual grass note, which is nice. Like, you know, you'd like to have it blended. Um, a Bulbasaur. Again, sprinkles on the bottom. Um, let's see, try and clean up here. Ooh, that was a messy one. Mmm, this is creamy. Like, again, grass isn't too obnoxious. Oh, I was messing, making a mess again. Mmm, I like this. Um, I, the the grass comes out a little bit more than the last one, but not too too much. Like, it's not gonna take over. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm so sorry. Because I got the scent more on the bottom. Again, everything's so warm right now. So that's uh, Balbazar. And the last one, the grass sample, is Bell, Bell Sprout. Again, you guys, I'm sorry, I'm butchering this. Mm, minty, like a, like a grass rosemary mint type scent. Spearmint. Oop, I got a little bit more spearmint. I'm not going to open that one because I've got such a mess going on as it is all right so then we have the sampler called the water type sampler Whoop. hi and I do this again my apologies all right so let's get this closed I have not opened this this is all news to me I've not opened any of these so we have, let's see here, was Squirtle, and I had a sample of this. Actually, I think I've even melted it too. Oh, damn, something just fell. <laughs> and the little bits are coming off of here. Mmm, this is really good. I've had Squirtle before. I'm pretty sure I have it. I don't know. I don't think maybe I've melted it. I know I have it in a larger shape though. Um, Polywag, Polywag. Mmm. This is like a very, very much like a laundry aqua fresh, a quote unquote fresh scent. Very nice. Again, I really like these little one ounce cups because I can just put them in one time, don't have to cut them. This one is Lapras. Lapras? Yeah. I'm butchering their names. I'm sorry, guys. Well, this is interesting. Huh. I'm trying to figure out what this smells like and I can't put my nose to it. Why do I think I've smelled this before? It's very familiar. It's almost like a body care type that I've smelled before from like Bath and Body Works or something, but I can't put my fingers on it. Anyway, I'm gonna try to put this here. And then we have a uh, horse, horsey. Horsey. Mm -hmm. I love the color of this. It's like a really cool, like purple. Oh, this is, um, this is water type. Huh. This smells like a uh, snow fairy. I would never have thought this would be a water type, but anyway, this is definitely snow fairy from Lush. This smells just like snow fairy to me. 
Then we have uh, Slowpoke. Mm. Yes, another Lush type, like a sleepy, like the Sleepy Lotion Lavender, but there's something else to it. Eucalyptus, I wanna say like Lavender Eucalyptus. It smells really nice. That would be really good for bedtime, I would think. Next sampler, we have Psychic Type. Not to be mistaken for Psycho Type. These are bigger um, scent shots. So these are her two ounce scent shots. Again, this is all news to me. You guys know I'm just opening these up with you. So this was a pre-order too. I didn't remember if I told you that. It was a pre-order. I ordered it. I think I purchased it on the 23rd of March and today is date that I'm filming is the 22nd of May. So it did take a few months or a couple months. So March, April, May. So two months pretty much. All right. So Jinx, Mandala Melts. And some sprinkles of green on the bottom. Oh, blackberry, mango, ginger ale. That's what it reminds me of. Mmm. Yes. Yum, yum, yum. So psychic type. Drowsy. I think I've had a sample of this one too. I think what she does is like, but like the samples I showed you the before might be part of her next collection that she'll be doing a pre-order for. So I think that's what happened is I've had a sample of Drowsy before, it, like the same thing I ordered a pre-order, got some samples, Drowsy was a sample. I know I've melted it. Yeah, this is really nice. Definitely a bedtime melt. Mm. Some sprinkles on the bottom again, purple uh, with green sprinkles. Um, Abra, as in abracadabra perhaps. So there you go. Oh, interesting. I'm going to have to pop this out. Hmm. Hmm. I can't figure out what this is, what this is, but it's very relaxing. Um, I'll give it that. It'll definitely go into my bedroom. That would probably bedroom or bathroom. It's got like a fresh relaxing scent to it. Ooh, relax. Mew. So this is pink with some purple sparkles. Yep, on the bottom. Mmm, peppermint. Peppermint, marshmallow maybe. Mmm. This would definitely be a bedroom scent for me. Um, it's got like, I, I like to melt a lot of peppermint or minty type scents and lavender type scents in my bedroom. So that would definitely go in the bedroom. And then lastly we have fairy type sampler. So this is where I would have thought the snow fairy one, the one that I think smells identical to snow fairy. Um, that's where I would have thought this one would have been. I can't remember. I can't remember the descriptions. It's been a little while. I haven't uh, looked at it. So I am, as you can see, there's four in this one as well. So we have Mr. Meme. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. This is marshmallow lavender. Mmm. This smells so good. It's creamy. It's mar it's a sweet lavender marshmallow type scent that I'm getting from my nose anyway. Really good. That will definitely be going in my bedroom. Jigglypuff. Who knows? Never heard of that before. Again, so the base note must be... Like the marshmallow, I want to say. I don't know. Mmm. There's like a like a sweet candy. There is a sweet candy to this one too. Not as sweet as the Snow Fairy dupe one. Um, this is really good too. It's got that creamy, same kind of creaminess as the Mr. Meme. Then we have Toga Pie, and I've had this in a sample again. I think it was probably a sample, letting us know what was coming up in my last order. Coconut cream pie, coconut and orange. I want to say coconut and orange, maybe. Toga pie. Again, I'm, I'm sorry, guys, but I wanted to open this up and share with you right away. And last but not least is Clay Fairy. Clay Fairy. Oh, again, sorry. Hmm. Let me pop that one out too. Strawberry. 
strawberry. Again, like marshmallows, sweetness, yumminess. Like it smells kind of like a dessert. I like that one too. This one will likely get melted in my great room because I think the strawberry would be good out here. So you guys, that is my order, the, my pre-order from Mandala Melts. I always, you'll always see below in my description box for 10% off anytime she does um, her pre-orders. So what she does is she'll do a pre-order like what's probably coming up is something similar to those samples I shared with you before. There'll be a pre-order and then she always makes a little bit more so that when just before she's ready to start shipping out um, the pre-orders, she puts on the, her website all of the items that she's, she's over poured um, for those to give a, you know, give a chance to purchase if you weren't able to get the chance before that. She does customs, you can do loaves, you can do all sorts of things. So I've yet to do a loaf. Um, that might be something, um, now that I'm melting a lot of my mandala melts right now for the month of May, I'm really getting to know her wax and knowing what I'm really, really digging, what I'm really, really loving. So, um, blends and things and she does customs and, and it's really, really good. So, um, and I can appreciate she's a Canadian company. So she's got great shipping rates to the United States. Um, actually even better than her own here in Canada being that she's Canadian, but she's just able to get such a good rate for you guys down in the States. Um, so feel free to, you know, you, I don't get anything for using the 10% discount code. It's strictly there for you guys to use at your leisure. Um, I mean, who wouldn't want 10% off? I mean, it's better than a kick in the pants, right? So, um, as always, you guys, thanks so much for watching. Sorry, I dropped my phone. That seems to be standard these days. So these are the sample sets that I purchased and a couple clams and my samples. As always, you guys be safe, take care and have fun. Bye.